I love Scranton a lot. America is business. It is the best place for business, and they have very advanced education system. It's a beautiful campus. I, I love the school, and everybody is really nice here. The first thing that hits me first is that people are very extremely friendly. I, I was a shy person before. I was so shy back in Vietnam, and now I get used to talk to new people, and I love to meeting new people. They understand that you come from a very different culture, and I'm, I'm like eager to soak in all the knowledge I can about here, but even they are so interested in knowing about my culture. The campus is not too big, and you can get around really easily, and the building is very top-notch. Going to a small school actually gives you more hands-on help for international students. I didn't feel like a huge cultural shock. I was able to settle in pretty quick. You are looking for uh, the quality of uh, the classes, uh, faculty, teachers. Scranton actually cares for each student. What I really like about the classrooms is the professors don't just like, they don't make it monotonous by just talking. It's very interactive. Everybody has something to say and it's more of a discussion in the classroom rather than just boom, 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 teaching facts, you know. They are there to help you and if you work at it, they'll be there to push you more. If you don't reach out to them, they will reach out to you. Help when you come here? Yeah, we do. The faculty make sure that you grow like as an overall person. So they try to impart skills in you, like leadership, the soft skills. I meant you, just to be... I don't care. <laughs> at the end of the day, when you walk out of the class, you, you have such new concepts in your mind and you completely understand them. Strategic location, which is close to major cities in the United States, such as uh, New York City, Philadelphia, even Washington, D.C. We have like huge alumni, and we connect with them through uh, LinkedIn and a lot of other events that alumni came here. Like international is going to be a big trend in the future, so I believe getting a multicultural education would be really important for the future. Madrid, Spain. Madrid, Spain. Toulon, France. Madrid, Spain. Marburg, New Jersey. Nice. <laughs> the balance lifestyle. Beside classes, you need to get involved more in activities and friends. The best thing here is getting to know people and getting involved. It's been a great experience. I mean, I love the on-campus, how they have the system of all these clubs. So you can enroll in the club in which you're interested. Maybe like photography, swimming, anything. I started swimming when I was in high school and I absolutely love the sport. I love dancing. And back in Vietnam, I would not have a lot of opportunities to dance. And here, I join in dancing club named Urban Beats. The community for the team, it's really tight. So, and like, I love the coach. The coach is really uh, motivated. Like, to me, uh, Urban Beats is not like a group of people gather and dancing. It's more about family. And like, most of my friends are actually American. And I actually learned a lot uh, of uh, American cultural form then. And also I'm very active in the international club. So we have cultural exchanges every week. Each student from different country can tell us about his or her country. And I made pretty good friends. In fact, like this weekend, we are going Niagara Falls together. That's how good friends we are. I prefer a small city like this because I can get around easier and I can know people easier, I can talk to them. Like being in a big city would be hmm, somewhat a problem for me because I don't have a driver license yet. In Scranton, I find it easy to adapt because it's a quiet city. Everybody knows each other and it's a really tight relationship. It's a quality over quantity. And I just felt like this is the right thing for me. So yeah, I love Scranton a lot and all the opportunities that they give me.